Okay, you're watching the Fox Business Network. We begin with Texas Congressman Lance Gooden. Okay, Senate Finance hearing today. By the way, it's good to see you, Congressman. Thank Thanks you so you much too. for joining us. The we got GOP senators meeting with Biden officials now. Is this President Biden's read my lips moment? Economists say he's going to have to tax the middle class to pay for the whopping two and a quarter trillion dollar spend. Democrats fear losing the midterms. What do you say about this? I think you're absolutely right. And let's be clear, these meetings with GOP senators are just for show. We see this before any big spending package that this Biden administration pushes. They meet with Republicans. They say this is bipartisan. They realize they don't have the votes. They push it through the House, and then the Senate really makes a decision to continue this partisan bill. That's what we suspect will happen here. There's no way the president can pass this without raising taxes on the middle class. He knows that. Uh, but remember, these meetings are just for show. We'll get this through the House. Uh, we'll have very little debate. There'll be no committee action, as is the norm under Nancy Pelosi control. House, and we'll see this in the Senate uh, in the same place that it is now. It's okay. too big, it's uh, more spending, and we can't afford it. We're hearing that the Democrats' plan to take on the Republicans' smaller bill, we don't know if it's going to be $568 billion, get that passed, uh, and then do a bigger spend on things like paid family leave. Uh, progressive left, they want $7 trillion total in spending. That's more than President Biden has asked for. Combined in the prior spending bills, what do you say to seven trillion? Uh, it's absolutely crazy, and you know what we're finding, and even the Biden administration officials are finding, and they hate to admit it, is that inflation is going up. Uh, all this money that's hitting the economy is causing prices to rise. Uh, the, everything is happening all at once, and it's at a very bad time for the administration. This recent gas problem with the pipeline on the East Coast has all blown up, along with the border crisis. And the Democrats are realizing that there will not be a Republican buy-in for a spending bill that's just not necessary. The economy was already recovering before this last one. By the time this actually gets through the House and to the Senate, we'll be in, we should be in an even better place uh, with respect to getting jobs back, getting people back to work. Mask mandates are coming down around the country, even here in D.C., where we've been um, at the okay. throes of the mayor. Uh, we're seeing life come back to normal, and that's why we don't need more spending. We, Let the economy do its job. We want to ask you this. We want to ask you this. How are they going to pay for it? The Republicans are talking about new user fees on people who use electric cars because they don't pay into the Federal Highway Trust Fund. Right. The Democrats want taxes on the upper bracket and corporate taxes to go up. They're also talking about bringing back Obama's Buy America bonds. Republicans don't like it. It's subsidizing state spending. And then Democrats also want more money for IRS audits and enforcement. Which of these will pass? Uh, the truth is, probably all of them, but the one that they're not talking about that will also pass is a tax on everyone. There's just no way that you can pass these large spending packages without taxing, taxing everyone. And I think every item that you just mentioned is possible uh, to wind up in the final bill and somewhere uh, stuffed in the middle uh, late at night. You'll see a tax on everyone. What about There's, higher gas taxes? I what think about, you'll see that as well. What about higher gas taxes? Absolutely. I think I, okay, everything so is on the table on the with this class. plan. That's exactly right. 